can I gain more confidence about my composing? Part of this question has already been answered in previous videos and in the book 100 Orchestration Tips. By learning more about the structure of music, developing your inner ear, and saturating your imagination with a huge breadth of works through score reading. That will at least give you a baseline of reference from which to compare your efforts and develop them with more assurance. But that's only the beginning. If music is a language, then the way we grow more confident in using it is through communication. It's not enough to simply compose a work, listen to the MIDI playback, and then store it in a file and forget about it. That's simply talking to yourself. Your music can't grow until it's been shared with another set of ears, or many, many sets of ears. What you really need is a community of listeners who can give you feedback and show you which threads in your work really shine. From there, choosing those threads that determine your individual voice is less of a muddled, self-congratulatory process. That doesn't mean that you're expected to spring onto the scene like a fully formed god or goddess of composition. In our imaginations, we may be the next Mozart, but we don't have to proclaim that necessary arrogance to the world. All we need to do is to share its wonder, in which we're all created equal. Start with that, and find those whose remarks are helpful to your growth. They may be supportive or very critical, but it's always up to you to decide the value of their comments, not them. No one's authority is more important than yours in shaping your own artistic voice, and respect does not equal obedience. Otherwise, we end up with carbon copy composing, and art becomes limited to the imagination of a few minds rather than many. One of the most helpful voices in building your confidence is that of a performer. They can advise you on perfecting the technique, expression, and character of your music in ways a music professor can't. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'll, you just, I'll play it through and you tell me okay, what to change. Okay, nope. They're also creative artists, developing a work of art called a musician. That term may have a completely different definition from yours a person who builds on a set of artistic experiences and interactions to create a part of themselves that functions within a mutual flow of musical information. That ultimate creation of a professional orchestral musician may be just as monumental a work of art as any great musical composition. They're experts, geeks, jocks, scientists, craftsmen, actors, and communicators. To have one of these musicians give you feedback is a blessing. To have them eagerly perform your work is a benediction, especially if they work with you to make it an ideal vehicle for their instrument. To have a long-term relationship as composer to a great performer is a gift like no other, and should be treasured and honored by rising to the heights of your capabilities and craft and imagination. When they perform your work and ask for another, you'll know you're on the right track, with something worth sharing with the world. Hey there, this is your orchestration tutor Thomas Goss with a few more words about creative confidence. While I was preparing this video, it occurred to me that I'd left out one of the most important conversations that a developing composer can have, and that is with a mentor. Of course, probably every single viewer out there has had some kind of teacher, at least in school and then in music. Teachers guide us through a series of facts, interconnections, and activities that grow our level of information and understanding. They may dedicate their whole lives to that process, but a mentor is something more. Not just an educator, but a traveling companion on the road that leads to mastery. The mentor has already been on this journey and reached a certain destination. Now they're back to guide you across many of the dangerous parts of the road, to get you to the milestones, and show you where the view is the best. In short, it's all about perspective, the kind that can move you forward with far more confidence than going it alone all the time. I've been both. I've introduced many students to music performance, theory, and composition. I've also simply helped musicians gain perspective by sharing knowledge with them, not just about the nuts and bolts, but more so the process of being the person I need to be to do what I do. That's something that can actually exist separate from traditional teaching. 
Here's an example. I had a piano teacher when I was about age nine who looked after me after school a couple days a week while my parents were sick. What I realized about her was that she was a bit indifferent about teaching, at least teaching me, but she loved being a professional musician. The more I hung around with her, the less she taught me piano lessons, but the more I learned about the outlook, the rhythms, and the whole attitude of being a professional musician. I think that over the months that she mentored me, I might have had only a small handful of sit-down piano lessons, but my course had been firmly and irrevocably set on the path of a profession in music. Before her guidance, music was a thing I practiced because I loved it and wanted to get better at it. Afterwards, music had become a way of life, a destiny, a calling. She was a great mentor, and I've had a couple others as well. I recommend that type of relationship, if you can develop it, with an experienced composer who can give you both practical and artistic advice. I mean, that's kind of what this whole channel is about, mentorship. But I can't personally mentor all 11,000 people who watch it. But there may be some experienced composers in your area who would make great mentors, whether you're studying with them or just hanging out. Sometimes a simple conversation can be life-changing. However you reach out for mentorship, you should know that it's one of the most reliable ways to gain confidence in your craft as you develop. But how do you even get started? That answer awaits you in the next installment of 20 Orchestration Questions. See you then. Thank you.